They come from all walks of life, from all over the world. The very best players of this ancient game have all gathered here in Macau to play in the first ever World Series of Mahjong. Hello and welcome to the World Series of Mahjong. Mahjong is an ancient Chinese game of true mental skill and strategy. Over the next few days, we will see history being made as some of the greatest players from around the world gather here for the inaugural World Series of Mahjong. Join me, Philip Chan, over the next 13 episodes to witness the drama unfold as one player will have to fight through eight death rounds to be crowned the champion of the 2007 World Series of Mahjong. I think I have a good shot. The World Series of Mahjong is a whole new level of competition, going way beyond the weekly gatherings that most players are familiar with. They must think quickly, stay calm under pressure, and they must have the stamina to survive till the end. The intense competition spans three full days with seven nerve-wracking rounds of elimination. There is no telling which four players will make it to the final table one of whom will be crowned the champion of the inaugural World Series of Mahjong. For the World Series of Mahjong, we will use 13 tiles from a set of 136 where the familiar bonus tiles like the flowers and the seasons are not used. The format incorporates a unique scoring system that is a mixture of Mahjong styles from China, Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Japan. Please go to www.3q1mj.com to practice these rules. Let's take a look at some of the simple scoring patterns. The winning score is three times the pattern value of the hand. Everybody pays for the self-draw. When the winning hand is less than 30 points, total score is split equal. If the winning hand is over 30 points, each player first pays the winner 30 points, and the discarder pays the rest. There's one point for a chicken hand, five points for a hand that's all sequences, 10 points for two identical sequences, 35 points for three similar sequences. 40 points are given for a mixed one suit hand, 40 points for all triplets, 40 points for a nine tile straight, and 100 points for pure straight. 130 points for big three dragons, 320 points for 13 terminals, 400 points for big four wins, and 480 points for nine gates. In this competition, we will see international players like Niels Hansen from Denmark, Sayaka Yokoyama from Japan, from the United Kingdom, poker champion Man Lee Wan, and from the United States of America, the young and talented Jennifer Barr and Anthony Balaker. And from East Asia, we have experienced Mahjong players from China, Macau, Hong Kong, and Taiwan. The World Series of Mahjong also features many famous stars from the stage and screen. They have all come to Macau to participate in the first ever World Series of Mahjong. All of these players have provided us with some drama and some real surprises. <laughs> In this first ever World Series of Mahjong, the very best players have all gathered here in Macau. Dragon Chang is certainly one of them. He's both a Mahjong historian and an avid player, who's no stranger to international Mahjong competitions. The World Series of Mahjong is played over eight elimination rounds. All players will play 32 hands in round one where the scores are tally and the top 256 scores will advance into round two. 
From round two, top half scores of each round will advance into the next round. The four players that make it to the finals will have played seven elimination rounds to get there. Round eight is the final round, and players will play eight cycles for 32 hands, where the winner will be the first World Series of Mahjong champion. The top 32 players that make it into round five and beyond will walk away with a minimum 5,000 US dollars in prize money. The four players in the final round will win between 50,000 US dollars to the top prize of half a million US dollars. That's a total prize purse of 1 million US dollars. It doesn't matter who you are in this game of skill, strategy, and careful calculation. Mental and physical stamina may be a dominant factor for success. So don't go away. The first ever World Series of Maja will start right after the break. Welcome back to the first ever World Series of Mahjong. The Wynn Resort is filled with eager anticipation as players await the opening of the competition floor. Here's Sayaka Yokoyama, the representative from Japan. With over 10 years of experience, she looks relaxed and even has time for an autograph. The excitement intensifies as we're about to begin the competition. Amateurs and pros alike all have their eyes on being crowned the first ever World Series of Mahjong Champion. Players are given a little over two hours to play four cycles. That's approximately 35 minutes per cycle. When the time limit is up, the current hand is allowed to be completed. If the cycles are not finished, remaining hands will be forfeited. We now go on stage to our featured TV table. Let's see which four players have been chosen at random by computer to play in the very first round. First up, we have Anthony Berlocker from the US of A. Next to him, we have Ito Makoto from Japan, Joseph Chan from Hong Kong, and last but not least, Mr. Ling Yu Mao from Taiwan. Ling Yu Mao is 86 years old, the oldest player in the competition and probably the most experienced player in the field. Mr. Lin wants us to call him Grandpa Lin. So let's get to know Grandpa Lin just a little bit better. Tell 四同兄弟姐妹一样亲热，所以我们呢家里呢非常的幸福啊，美满，大大小小的都成立一个非常美满的家庭。All right, we're gonna jump right into the competition, and I'm very privileged to have champion poker player next to me, Manly Wan. Welcome, Manly. Good to be here, Alex. Ito looks like he's going for the uh, pure one suit of bamboos. Joseph maybe going for the chicken hand. 
Lenio Mao has the all triplets potential. Anthony Bialoka, all triplets also. Okay, so let's get right into the competition right here and see where we're going to go with this. Anthony Bialoka picks up a pile. And he picks up the East Wind. Doesn't help him. And he's already pretty close to going out right there, right? Yeah, Lin Yu Mao also right now. Uh, so Lin, Grandpa Lin as we know him. Is, he's uh, waiting for only one tail. The five or seven of bamboo. Okay, so Anthony Balaker is going to pick up the next tile, and it's a six of circles, which is of no use to him. And Ito Makoto from Japan. Okay, he can use this tile, but he seems to be throwing it away. Alright. Jay Chan decides to take that tile, which is the four of circles, and make his sequence, and throws out the five of circles. Grandpa Lin picks up the eight of circles, which is not any use to him. So we have a pretty good mix here as a first TV table. We have uh, Japan, USA, Taiwan, and we have Hong Kong. Okay, he makes a Kong, which is a set of four tiles, which is worth five points if he completes the hand. So Jay Chan right here has a bonus of five points already if he's the winner, right? Correct. Okay, Grandpa Lin picks up a tile, which is of no use. Let's see what Anthony Balaker picks up. A wind, which he throws out immediately. The red dragon. Everyone seems to be a very cautious here before they throw it out. They're taking a good second look, which is good strategy. You don't want to mistakenly throw out a tile that you need. Anthony Balaker with a two character. Which is no use to him. And he throws it back out there into the discard pile. Ito Makoto takes a good look, discards that too. Seems like everyone is just waiting for their tile. Now luck plays heavily into it. If they get their tile, they go for the win right here. Chan's waiting for a four or the seven of bamboo. Now he seems to have changed strategy. Grandpa Lim picks up a three of circles still has a sequential set, but he throws out the six of circles now. Anthony's been waiting for a while. Ito Makoto makes a sequential. Jay Chan also throws out his seven of circles. He's waiting for the eighth of circles to finish. And Ling Yu Mao, I think, is going to win his first hand here. And he self-draws. And let's take a look at his hand, Manly. Okay, this looks like a chicken hand, but Lin is actually the East Wind seat this time, so he gets a bonus for having the set of East Winds, which makes it 10 points from each player, 30 points total. Not bad for the first hand of the tournament for Grandpa Lin. He's out to a slight lead right now, 30 points. All right, we're gonna turn to Joseph and Grandpa Lin and hear from them. <laughs> So Grandpa Lin says he's in the lead. <laughs> After one hand, he surely is. Okay, let's take a look at the scorecard. Makoto with minus 10 points. Grandpa Lin with the early lead, 30 points, Anthony Balaker, minus 10, and Jay Chan at minus 10. And that's only the first hand. We have so many more hands to play. We will now leave the TV table and go out to the main floor where the action is fast and furious. We join the table in mid hand At this table, we have Hong Kong retiree, Hui Tsong Lai, Hong Jung Chao, Chan Zi Kian, and Jennifer Barr. Jennifer will be on the TV table later in this episode. Jennifer is based in Japan and plays Mahjong professionally there. She's new to the tournament rules though, so we will take a look at the scores after the first six hands. It looks like Jennifer is not doing too well at the moment, but there's so much Mahjong to play. Her total right now is minus 27. Hong is in the lead with 17 points, tied with Chan, who also has 17 points. Hui Tong Lai right now is at minus 7. 
Okay, we will leave Jennifer and venture out to a different table on the main floor. Here we see Song Ping, who is playing in mahjong tournaments all over China for the last 10 years. Also at our table is Robert Metger, who will appear on the TV table later in this episode. He's from the United States of America, but currently lives in Hong Kong. Accompany these two at the table is Hui Kwok Ho of Hong Kong and Luke Kwok Kang, also from Hong Kong. Let's take a look at their scorecards. After seven hands, Kwok has minus 39. Robert has minus 127. Song, the champion, has minus 127. And Hui with a commanding lead, 293 points. It doesn't look good for Song Ping and Mecca right now, but like I said, there's a lot of mahjong to play. All right, we return on stage to the TV table. Round one, session one, after six hands. We have Makoto from Japan with 12 points. Grandpa Lin in the lead with 32. Anthony Balaka from the United States with minus 32 points. And Jay Chan also with minus 12 points. All right, let's join them in the middle of the next hand right now. Man Lee, let's take a look at their tiles. Be a local looking for the one of character, the four of circles. Lin Yu Mao going for the four of circles or the seven of circles to finish. Joseph Chan, he can make a mix one, mix one suit. If he gets rid of the five of circles, Itomakato still many tails to go. All right, so let's see how this hand is going to play out. Right here we have Jay Chan. Like you said, if he gets rid oh, right there it is. Exactly like you said, Medley. If he gets rid of the five of circles, he can go for the mix one suit, right? Yeah, that's 40 points plus the blank of honors. That means like he can get like 50 points. 50 points plus he's got a set of four. Oh man, so that's a pretty big hand that's for like him if he hits it, right? That's additional five points. All right, Balaka here is uh, just waiting for the one a character or the four of circles to go out. Yep. He also has a bonus of the red dragon still too. Yes, for 10 points. All right, Grandpa <coughs> Lin here. He is missing uh, either a four of circles or the seven of circles for the win. So everybody here is just kind of waiting. Chan looking for the free of bamboo, but he I think uh, right? Makato already it. has two of them. So he's only looking for one tail. Uh, so his chances of getting it are quite slim, but yeah. he doesn't know that yet. And Bialoka here, if he managed to throw away the two four of circles and change that to a one or nine or honors, he can go for the mix lesser terminals, which is 40 points. Okay, Grandpa Lin picks up the six of characters. Doesn't really need it, throws it away. Let's see if Jake Han gets lucky. Nope, he does not get the three of bamboo. <laughs> if he does get it, he gets 55 points from each player. Jay Makoto. A locker. Does he get lucky? Nope. He does not get the four circle. That's a seven of circles. But Balakar is going to throw the seven of circles out, and that makes Grandpa Lin's hand, I believe. Ah, uh, yes. He just made the all sequences hand, which is five points from each player. Total 15 points here. Okay, so let's look at Grandpa Lin's hand right here. He said uh, all sequences is five points. So five times three from each player makes a total of 15 points. It's a small win, but it stops the other players from making their bigger hands. And like we always say, a win is a win. That's correct. This一定打架吃的差不多了。我在做大牌啊，就是谁叫连冠也没有用，人家就是人家一分就服下去，我何必呢？我马上先服啊，十分五分就好了。Okay, let's take a look at the scorecard. Round one, session one. Makoto with minus three. Grandpa Lin winning four out of eight hands for a total of 57 points. Anthony Balaker hasn't won one hand yet, so he has minus 47 points. And Jay Chan trailing with minus seven points. We will now go into commercial break. When we come back, we have a young British poker champion playing against some of Asia's finest Mahjong players.
Welcome back to the World Series of Mahjong 2007. We're going to head right to the TV table and see what new players are there. From Hong Kong, we have Yu Mei Quinn. From Taiwan, we have Chang Wen San. Next up, from the United Kingdom, Man Lee Wan. Man Lee happens to be our strategy analyst who is sitting next to me today. He is also a professional blackjack and poker player. Last up is Zhang Ke Chang from China. Today, we will go to China and visit Zhang and learn a little bit more about him. We now return to the TV table after completion of three hands. Let's take a look at the scores. Chang from Taiwan with 15 points. Zhang from China at minus 25. Man Li Wan with 15 points and Yu with minus 5 points. All right, now let's return to the table for the action. All right, Man Li, you're obviously very familiar with this hand. Why don't you talk us through it? Okay, I have the three similar sequences potential for 120 points from each player if I hit another five of bamboo. However, Yumi Quinn is looking for only one tile to two of circles for a chicken hand. And Chang and Zhang are still a long way to go. All right, let's go to the action. So obviously, Man Lee, uh, you followed this one very closely. You were very involved in this hand. And uh, from just looking at the tiles, it looks like you have a very, very big hand. That's a possibility, right? Ah, uh, yes. Like it's three similar triplets. That would be like 120 points from each player, 360 total. The three similar triplets meaning that you have five of the characters, five of the circles, and five of the sticks, right? Yeah. You need all of those to go, uh, go out and pick the winning hand. So right now, what are you missing? I'm missing the five of bamboo. Okay, so if you get the five of bamboo, you will have the three similar um, triplets, right? Yeah. And so that would be a big hand. All right, let's look at Yu. She picks up a useless tile. Chang from Taiwan picks up the three of circles. Okay, let's take a look at everyone's tiles right now. Man Lee, you're still waiting for the bamboo five to make your three similar triplets. And Yu Mei Quinn is just waiting for that two of circles. If she gets that two of circles and get that chicken hand, that'd be a big disappointment for you, huh? Yes, also Chang is also going, uh, waiting for the two or the five of characters to win. Okay. So Man Lee, you picked up the north wind which is not of any use to you, so you throw it away. Yu Mei Quinn gets the one character, throws it away also. Okay, Chang looking for two or five characters. Zhang still picks it up. She, he picks up the two characters, right? Yes. And you put aside to throw the white dragon out. You're looking for the self draw soon. Now Chang gets the Kung, so that's an uh, extra bonus five points. Correct. And he also has the honor set, that's an additional 10 points. Here we go for the draw. You get it right here? Nope. Now you're deciding whether to change the tile. And you decided to throw the eight of circles out. Yu Mei Quinn with the red dragon, which is no help. She's still looking for the two of circles. Chang picks up a seven character, which is useless for him. Let's see what Zhang gets. Zhang also gets uh, seven of circles. Zhang is looking for the three of 
characters to win. And here you go on the self draw. You hit it. Okay, so you get the six of characters. Okay, now I'm only looking for the five bamboo to win the hand. And it's a big oh, quite a disappointment to our strategy analyst Manly, who lets out a big sigh right here. Oh man, you had a big hand coming, but you may win slowly with the chicken hand. Seems like. Oh wait a minute, it seems like a big hand. It's pure lesser terminals. Oh, so we were wrong. It actually turned out to be a very decent hand. Yeah, it's a pure lesser terminals, which means every set has at least a one or a nine in it. And this is a big turn of event for me. Uh, I could have got like 360 points, now I lost 50 points. I wanted to move Alright, let's take a look at the scorecard. Round 1, Session 1 after 4 hands. Chang from Taiwan with minus 35 points. Zhang from China with minus 75 points. And Man Li with a heartbreaking loss. Instead of winning 360, you lose 50, so you're at minus 35 points. And Yu Mei Quinn leading right now with 145 points. Okay, we return to the action. What are the opening hands, Man Li? Okay, you're looking for the uh, circles potential. Uh, my hand is really bad, very messy. All right, and then I've got on. one of, one of each. <laughs> <laughs> How about Zhang? Zhang, he could go for the mixed man suit potential. Or characters? Yes. Okay, and how about Chang? Chang also going for the character suit. Okay. So what are you thinking right here? Because uh, you you had a possibility of a big hand, and the next hand you look and it just looks terrible. Are you feeling good? Feeling bad? No, just playing it patiently. Okay. Slowly it's improving. That's the only way to play it. All right, let's follow this through. Chang here picks up uh, Nine of Circles, which is of no use. Yu Mei Quinn picks up uh, Nine of Circles, which helps her a little bit. You pick up the one of Bamboo, which is uh, one of the many useless tiles you have. <laughs> so you discard it. Chang picks up the Eight of Characters, which helps him a little bit, gives him another pair or a sequence draw. Ooh. And you just hit a triplet there. Getting closer and closer to her all circles hand. Oh, it, you finally pick up a red dragon, helps you a little bit. Yeah, another improvement. Slowly it's getting better. Zhang here picks up a two of circles. Which is no use to him. He throws it away. We're going to leave the TV table for a second because it seems like we have a very, very big hand developing by one of our featured players. Anthony Balaker, and he wins and throws it down. It's a huge hand. Yes, it's a free big win for 120 points plus the all triplets, 40 points plus the mixed character suit, 40 points plus his own win, 10 points. For a total of 210 points from each player, that makes a grand total of 630 points. It's probably the biggest hand in the tournament so far. So right now, Anthony Balaker has shot to the lead, positive 594 points, Law with minus 36, Ho with minus 226 and Sin with minus 332. Okay, we take the action back to the TV table at North Cycle hand number one. Man Lee, what do we have here? Okay, Zhang going for the mixed character suit, which is a huge hand here. And uh, Chang also looking for the character potential, Yumi Quinn. Oh, she's going for the pure one suit of circles, which could be 100 points. And my hand is still quite messed here. All right, let's take a look at the action right here. Okay. Um. Here, I can try and go for the free triplets, but still a long way to go. So you need a lot of help. Zhang almost there, waiting for the character of free. Chang with the draw, no help. Yu with the draw, no help also. And you pick up uh, eight of sticks, which is still no help to you. Zhang right here picks up the nine, which helps a lot because that makes another concealed triplet for him, right? So right now he already has two concealed triplets and it helps his uh, mixed one suit. Yu picks up the two of circles, makes her sequence also. You pick up the south wind, which helps you a little bit, improves your hand, you throw out the five of sticks. So Zhang right here is working on a huge hand. Oh, he's got another eight that improves hand again. Wow, tremendously. So now he's got three concealed triplets, 
uh, he's just waiting for one more tile to go out. Yeah, but that tile is like exactly the one free of man. Uh huh. The three character, you mean? Yeah, free of character. And Cantonese is called man. Oh, and he gets the free of characters. Very lucky there. So, uh, Jang with a nine of characters, an eight of characters, and a three of characters. Three consecutive tiles that help him immensely. And he gets the big win. Manly, what does he have? Can you break it down for us? Alright, he's got the mixed characters for 40, 10 points additional for the Green Dragon, 5 points for all 